Hey there, happy fall y'all. It's Lisa from the Cat Scrappiness Design Team and I have a fun project to share with you guys today. The holidays are right around the corner and gift cards are a very popular gift giving idea and I made these matchbooks to house the gift cards. I'm going to share this project with you today. I have three to show you and then at the end of the video we are going to go ahead and make one on camera. So I'm just going to walk you through these three matchbooks and show you the products that I use to make them. Uh, the first one is kind of a pumpkin uh, latte coffee looking card and I use the Happy Fall Y'all stamp set from the shop. It's got some great images in it for fall, some pumpkins and leaves. I also use the layered coffee cup die to make the main coffee cup on this card. And I stamped some uh, a fun pattern on the coffee cup itself. There are some coffee beans and coffee cups. And the coffee beans are from a coffee set that we have in the shop. It's called Let's Get Caffeinated. And there you can see it's got some coffee beans, some coffee sentiments in it and the coffee beans on the cup are the medium coffee bean in the set. I also stamped that cute little coffee cup on the background of the coffee cup. And then you can see when you open it up, there's a place inside for the gift card uh, and it pops up. And then I stamped the sentiment from that Let's Get Caffeinated stamp set right in the middle. Um, wake up and smell the coffee. I also put some coffee beans on the outside of that sentiment. And the second matchbook I made is with a little bear from the Cat Scrap in the Shop. It's actually a Gerda Steiner stamp. And I colored him up with my Zig markers and put him on the front. And again, you can see when you open it up, the gift card is there. And another sentiment from Let's Get Caffeinated, Life Happens, Coffee Helps. And again, I put the coffee beans all around the sentiment just to give it a little extra order. And the third one I made has these cute little ice cream cups on the front. And I used two stamp sets from the shop for this matchbook. Uh, on the outside, I used this older set, Punny Snacks, and I stamped the ice cream cups three cool. times. And I used the You're Too Sweet sentiment for the front. And I put a little bit of stickles on the ice cream part of the cups just to give them some sparkle and shine. And then on the inside of the matchbook, you can see again, the gift card just sits right there in the middle. Pops up when you open it, it's really neat. And then a new stamp set we have in the shop called Cheat Day, I used to put the sentiment in the middle. And it says, is it cheat day yet? And then I stamped the uh, ice cream cups in the inside again. And that little panel is from our stitched scalloped rectangle dies. And that was the uh, perfect size for that inside. And I also use the stitched scallop circles on the front of the card to mount the ice cream cups on. Okay, are you guys ready to make one together now? You're going to need a couple of sheets of paper and some pattern paper. So to start off with, I'm going to give you the measurements. You're going to need two pieces for the base of your matchbook. One is going to measure 3 inches by 5 and 3 eighths inches. The second one is going to measure 3 inches by 7 and a quarter inches. Then you're going to need two pieces of pattern paper for mats. And they are going to be some pattern paper that you like that will stand out from the base of the card. Just like the polka dots on that card and the brown gingham on that card. So I chose some bright colors today so they'll really stand out. The two mat sizes are going to be 2 and 7 8 inches by 4 and a quarter inches and 2 and 7 8 inches by 5 eighths of an inch. So first we're going to start with the longer piece, the 3 by 7 and a quarter. And we're going to make three score lines on it. The first score line is at 3 quarters of an inch, the second one is at 1 and a half inches, and the third one is at 6 and a quarter inches. We're going to make a little thumb notch at the base of the card just past that six and a quarter inch line. We're going to mark the halfway point in the card, punch out the notch, and I'll show you again how to do this when I take out the base of the card that we're going to make today. The second piece, the three by five and three eighths inch, is only going to get one score line at one inch. So these are the papers that I chose for the matchbook we're going to make today. You see I've got the two long pieces in craft color cardstock card and the two map pieces are in a Christmas pattern since we're going to make a Christmas matchbook. There are the score lines that I told you about. 
So we're going to start with that longer piece, and like I said for the thumb notch, that's a three inch panel. So we're going to punch that notch out at about one and a half inches. And that's basically just so we can grab the gift card easily. The first mat that we made, the smaller mat, is going to go right there at the bottom on the opposite side of the thumb notch. I'm going to glue it down, and then once we glue it down, we're actually going to crease the panel and we're going to fold it underneath so that the mat is showing on the top. Then we're going to take a stapler and we're going to staple right in the center but up closer to the crease, not so close to the fold of the card. So there we're going to put the staple in and then we're going to flip the card over and we're actually going to put tape right over the staple and just from one side to the other, this is quarter inch score tape that I'm using and the staple is going to stick up a little bit in the middle, but that's okay because we're going to wind up folding it over so it won't show. So I'm going to peel off the score tape and then we're going to fold this panel up toward the thumb notch so that all we see is that pattern paper and now the staple has been covered up. And that's so that we can stick the top in when it's all closed. Crease up your thumb notch panel and put it aside. We're going to work with the second piece now. What we're going to do is we're actually going to put score tape uh, in that bottom scored area and we're going to put it on three sides so we're going to put it across the top by that score line and we're going to put it down the two sides so only three sides there and then we're going to take off the at this point we're going to go ahead and adhere the mat the larger mat that i told you about and it's going to be adhered on the side where those three pieces of score tape are so go ahead and get your mat down. And I'm using some Nuvo adhesive today. It really is good for, gives you a little wiggle room once you put down your mat so you can get it centered. And then we're gonna go ahead and remove the score tape. We're gonna to attempt to remove the score tape. Of course on camera it always takes way longer to do. And then once the score tape is off, we're going to line up the two cards that we just scored and cut. And we're going to make sure that the score tape lines up with the other piece right in the middle. We're going to put them together and we're going to press them so that they stay together. That's the piece in the middle where the gift card is going to sit. So you want to make sure that's adhered together really well. And the gift card is literally just going to slip into the middle of that. There's plenty of room for it. And then it pops up when the card is opened up. And basically all that's really left to do is decorate the uh, front of the matchbook and the inside. And I used this Merry Christmas die cut and a cute little reindeer from one of our new stamp sets. Uh, the stamp set is called Merry Critters. And it's got a lot of cute little critters in there for Christmas. A raccoon, an owl, a bunny, a nice sleigh, cute little tree, and it's got some really um, great sentiments in it, Christmas and holiday themed sentiments. So the reindeer is from that stamp set and I colored him with some zig markers and I really kind of felt like she needed a little bow in her hair so there's another die set in the store called Gingerbread Man Die and there's a little bow tie or hair bow in that set. So I cut out some red glitter paper and I put it in her hair. And the Merry Christmas sentiment die is what I used for the inside. I cut out some red glitter paper and I put that on the inside of the card. It's a little too long to go horizontal, so I put it vertical. So for the front of the matchbook, I took a craft colored circle from the Stitch Scallop Circles and uh, just added a small white circle to the center of it so that the reindeer would stand out. Basically, I just adhered the circles together. And then I popped the little reindeer up on some foam tape, a little more wet adhesive, and I just applied the whole circle to the front of the matchbook. And it's all finished. Really looks cute on the front. I love how that little reindeer just stands out. And these are all the cards completed. The four of them. Really cute. I just think it's a really neat idea uh, and a different way to give a gift card. 
And the best thing about these matchbook gift card holders is that you can decorate them any way you want for any season or any occasion. Um, the sky is the limit. You can use stamps and die cuts and you could even use ribbon or twine on the front, sequins or buttons. You can just have a lot of fun going through your stash and dressing these little matchbooks up. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today and I just want to show you some of the stamp sets that I use that are new in the shop. They are the Cheat Day stamp set, the Happy Fall Y'all stamp set, and the Merry Critters. The Cheat Day stamp set is a lot of fun. There's a lot of funny sentiments in it, so make sure to head over to the shop and check it out. You'll just love it. If you want to go shopping in the store, you can use my code LISA10 and save 10% on your order. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial today. If you have any questions about it, you can leave me a comment below and I'll be happy to answer them. I'll list and link all the products down below for you guys. Thanks for joining me today. Happy fall, y'all!